On this video at Doug's Home Arcade, showcasing my Dragon's Lair Arcade Laserdisc video game by Cinetronics. It was released in 1983. This is a dedicated machine. This was a game I really did not play when it was released. I saw this for the first time at a laundromat when it first came out in 83. And I was just blown away. This was something completely amazing at the time. Still is, I think. But uh, in my local arcades, they all had it. But I just did not play this game. It was 50 cents to play, and I just struggled to play this uh, machine. And the funny part is, when Space Ace came out, that one I was actually playing. I was pretty good at that one. I thought this game was a lot harder, but today, I think this is the easier game over Space Ace as long as you play the, the harder levels on that one. But I started in the 90s really wanting to get involved in this game in Space Ace and they were just starting to leave the arcades so when I started playing them they were pretty much leaving. Dragon's Lair was pretty much gone but I did see some Space Aces uh, lingering around and then I decided to get one of these machines and I just had the hardest time finding one that for sale or even worked. Did come across um, some 7820 laser players. I bought those before I even had the machine. There was about four of them I purchased. And I did wind up buying a 3DO home system uh, right when it was fading out because the PlayStation came out, but because it had Dragon Slayer and Space Ace on it. And it did the job for a while until I found this actual machine. So this game, I believe it was around, I think it was around 95, 96, somewhere around there. Uh, picked this up for a really good price at an auction. It didn't work. And it still had the 7820 laser player in there. It didn't work and it had a cracked disc. So my friend had a disc, so I got that from him. And one of those 7820s I purchased earlier was able to get that to work and it was hit and miss uh, I was just not reliable uh, luckily uh, a few years later or so a couple few years later uh, the conversion kit came out so you could run the newer 90s uh, Sony player and that was a major improvement uh, the machine was really reliable uh, actually worked too good. It tracked really good. There was no thinking when it came to tracking. Uh, then I went ahead and updated the uh, the ROMs. Uh, there was a ROM card that had every version of Dragon's Lair and Space Ace in one um, card, which was nice. Uh, so that way you can play the Proto version if you had the disc. I eventually slept on the disc for the Proto when that came out. I did find a used one a little later on, and I ran that for the longest time. Uh, just recently I decided to go with the Dexter upgrade, which eliminates the laser player, and that's what I'm running right now. I didn't want to do that, but I decided to give it a try, uh, just in case if the laser player ever went out, there's just nobody left to fix them, um, nor you can even find them. As it was, I had a backup Sony player, never used it, it was going to go in my Space Ace that I have as well. And uh, it worked when I bought it, but it sat for about 10 years because I never had a use for it. And when I recently went to try it out, it was dead. So I said, I better do something to keep these things going. So Dexter's the way to go. I'm pretty happy with it, highly recommend it. Also converted my Space Ace as well to the Dexter. Even though that one's still running the old Pioneer 1000, that's been a solid machine. All original in that machine. But uh, this machine's all original. On the cabinet, haven't done nothing with it. The scores are working all the way. Monitor is all original. It's beautiful. Control panel overlay, also original. Still got the 50 cent coin returns on it and has the original factory artwork still on it. It's in it's not in perfect condition, but it's pretty good. Can't quite see it, but it's on both sides. Also got the Dragon's Lair poster. 
and the Space Ace poster as well. And there's my Space Ace. This uh, is not a dedicated, it was probably a Dragon Slayer. A lot of these were uh, conversions, but actually I got that machine before I had purchased the um, Dragon Slayer. Now I'll talk about that machine on another video. But this is definitely a machine that's going to stay in my permanent collection. Uh, no plans of ever parting with this. I'm very happy with this machine and I'm glad that there's ways to keep these laser disc games going, um, hopefully for years to come. Alright, I'm going to go and pause for a moment and we'll get a game started so you can see in action. Drink.